What's going on guys? It's your boy Monger Man. Today I'm breaking down how I make basic rock inspired guitar loops. You hear guys like MGK, Trippy Red, Ian Dior hopping on this trend and I think it's only going to continue to grow. The great news is you don't even have to be a good guitarist to come up with these. I'm going to show you some very basic, easy to play patterns that sound great. Before we jump in, I want to make sure everyone who's following along knows how to play a power chord. It's a very basic chord. It's two notes. Put your pointer finger on whatever fret you're starting from and then you'll put your ring finger two frets above and one string above your pointer finger. So if I'm putting my pointer finger on the third fret of the low E, I'll put my ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. It sounds like this. And you can just move the shape around, up strings. These power chords are pretty much the basis of every Green Day song, like or like Nirvana, smells like teen spirit. So if you're not familiar with this shape, get it down because it's super easy, super effective. An important picking hand technique that we're gonna be utilizing in this tutorial is what's called palm muting. It's where you actually rest the base of your palm, like this area here, on the strings so it mutes the strings just a little bit to get this nice effect. So this is what this chord would sound like if we just played it without any muting. This is what it sounds like with palm muting. You wanna make sure you don't mute too far up the string because it will sound dull like this. You wanna get this nice balance of mute with it not being overly muted if that makes sense. All right guys, so I got Ableton loaded up. The first thing we're going to need to do is define our tempo. A great starting point for these rock loops is about 150 on the metronome. Yeah, that's sounding good. That will be our tempo for today. Pretty much any chord progression will work for these loops. Today, I'm going to select a six, five, three, four, which you'll hear in Internet Money's Lemonade. It sounds like this. I'm going to show you two patterns with power chords. Super simple, but very effective. The first pattern is to just play eighth note power chords. It sounds like this when you played with the metronome. That's our eighth note power chord pattern. And then the second rhythm pattern is 16th notes. So double the speed. It sounds like this. Okay, I'm gonna loop an eight bar section and first I'm gonna record the eighth note pattern and then I'm gonna record the 16th note pattern, all playing power chords. I'm gonna quantize the audio just to tighten it up. All right, once we get that, we're gonna make a new track and we're gonna record same chords, but at double the tempo. Again, we're gonna quantize this to tighten it up. All together, we have an eighth note pattern and a 16th note pattern. Together, they sound like this. Okay, this is a great foundation rhythmically. Let's add a new layer. Something that I found works pretty much every time is to add some sort of chord melody using only the top three strings. I'm just gonna play around on the top three strings until I find something that sounds good. All right, I think I got it. quantize this. So this first two bars is a lot louder than the rest. I played it with a much louder volume. That's an easy fix. We're going to split right at the start of the third bar and then we're just going to lower the volume of this. Okay, perfect. So with these three parts now, it sounds like this.
at this point the loop is already feeling pretty full what we can do now is just mess around with a top line melody and if you watch any of my other videos you know i just improvise all my melodies so it's going to be playing on loop this eight bar i'm going to loop record until i get something dope <laughs> What happens sometimes is I'll get a really dope idea like I just had, but it's not perfect. So I'll go back and listen to it. Once I have the notes properly figured out, then I'll go back and make sure I play it cleanly. All right, I got it figured out. I'm gonna go back in and do a clean take of this melody. Something I like to do with the melody if I quantize it is select all the playheads and move them back a bit so it sits behind the beat. All right, so this is sounding excellent. All that's left to do really is name the tracks and bounce them and then apply effects as you want. Guys, that's it for this video. I linked the loop, all four stems in the description of this video. So they're there. There's about 20 free loops in the discord. That link will also be in the description. This is Monger Man signing out.